Okay, we are making gems. This one, don't make fun of me if I say this wrong, is a icosahedron. It's got 20 sides. There's two on each page. So you're going to start by cutting on the outside lines. And general rule here is you are cutting on the solids and you are folding on the dotted lines. Now some of these lines are just so incredibly close. The dots are so close, they look like solid lines. So these lines on the inside, you are not going to cut. So you're going to cut a shape like this. And then this one has a little tricky spot right here, this little bit right there. You have to cut that so that that will release that tab to be folded over. Cut that little piece, like that. Okay. And then you're going to fold right on the dotted lines. Make sure that you use the back of your thumbnail or some object to crease that. You want those creases really tight and crease each one. Now this is a tribe activity. You're working as a tribe. So if one person is really good at cutting out but they don't like to put them together, they can cut a whole bunch up. If one person's really good at folding but they don't like cutting and they don't like putting it together, then they can just fold them. You can do an assembly line if you'd like. And if you'd like to take them home and cut some out and bring them in to fold, that works too. But you need one person to fold. So you can divide the labor as needed. So you want to make sure you fold really well on each line. Then, once you have it folded, on this one you are going to start in the center, putting those pieces together. So I'm going to put my glue on this piece right here. And as you're putting it together, you need to make sure that you hold the pieces together long enough for them to dry. If you try to go too fast and they come apart, then that's just going to be frustrating for you. So these pieces, bring these in. This one goes here. Try to make the connections on the inside until we get to the very, very, very last piece. This gets a little bit tricky here, that in the way. I don't want to glue ahead though. It'll just dry. So make sure you hold each piece. I'm going to bring these pieces all together until you get to the very last flap. So for the last piece, you're just going to put a piece of tape on for the very, very, very last piece because that's pretty tricky. Okay. All right. Let me find the end of this and take the last piece off so I can show you how to put it on. Oh, this one's done too well. This one I can't even take apart. Okay, we're going to finish this one. So the prize for this assignment, or for this contest, is ice cream. Whoever has the most gems made will win an ice cream contest. So start thinking about your favorite kind of ice cream. And for those of you who are lactose intolerant, we will make some adjustments for you. We will buy you something that is some sherbet.